Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of No Tears Frontiers. Uh uh. Oh, <laughs> buddy, my bad. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Two Up and Overloaded. Yes, Bam. name change. <laughs> name change, game change. So now we are Two Up and Overloaded. And in this series, we travel all over the world on our KTM 1190 motorcycle. We've been through the Americas, through Central and South America. We've been halfway up through Africa. This is true. And now we are journeying through Alaska. In the last episode, we had the most incredible ride going all the way down to Valdez. Oh, it was amazing. We saw glaciers and waterfalls. But Valdez is a dead end, so we have to return back through much of that same gorgeous scenery. And then in this episode, we're going to be headed to a very, very remote area. One of the most remote places that you can go to by road in the world. So we had to split the episode up into two parts because there was so much going on, so much beautiful scenery. So we are going to go back to that episode's interview in three, So we did set up our tent. We have a little extra rain fly on it. Um, you know, the big Angus. Nope. Nope. <laughs> we, put a, we put an extra tarp on the tent. Uh, the big Agnes tent is 90% is better than our old Nemo. Mm -hmm. Low C2 uh, we had. But just condensation still does happen. But the walls of the big Angus. Is it right? Nope. <laughs> Good morning. It was a very rainy night last night, and the tent is just covered in wetness and mud. Look at over here. All the mud kind of just splashed up all the way up against the tent. Everything here is all wet. And then on the other side, the same thing happened, which in turn got our sleeping bag all wet at the bottom. Oh, and there is no forecast for anything better anytime soon, any of the places that we're going. So rain, 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 and cold. I think the high today is like 45, 50, I don't know. The walls of the big Agnes go all the way down to the ground, so there's less splatter, but man, this was, you know, this was, a very large proportion of rain. We can just yes. hear it. Just tick, 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 dot, 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 plop, plop, plop. Now when... Plip, 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 plip. You thought it was done, but nah. <laughs> now when you say 90% better than our Nemo Losi 2, P. Yeah. It, I mean, that was a very good tent, yeah. but we did have some leakage problems. So he's just talking about As you get older, rain coming through. <laughs> leakage problems. They get just, worse. They happen. And worse. I'm 40. The, the tent was, was pretty old. <laughs> Tent years. So we, we upgraded to the big Angus. No. no. <laughs> so we upgraded to the big Agnes tent. I am upset that the sleeping bag is wet. When we rolled out the tent, it smelled a little bit. I don't know how I'm gonna get all this stuff dry. Yeah, it's it's been better and we've we've you know patched it if you will with another tarp, which is a cheap uh, option, but there was just no yeah. getting rid of all the water splashing in and under. And the slugs, it was army of darkness. Oh, so of many slugs. slugs. Why? Why I can't they just be snails? It's yeah. so much better. And then there's slugs everywhere. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> 
slug infestation. Yeah, Whoa. I mean, it was better than mosquitoes or black flies. And whatever we have flying around us right now, these noceums are not biting us, so that's good. No, these are black flies yeah. and they will bite. Oh. Be careful. Uh -oh. These are the same ones that destroyed your legs oh, on no. Denali Highway. <laughs> oh my God. <gasps> Oh, it's the black flies, I think. Is it? They make you bleed like that, yeah. Yes. Folks, this is this is gonna end more quickly. <laughs> we thought we're gonna wrap up here in turbo mode. Turbo mode. So crappy night, lots of rain, <laughs> wet tent, morning of cleaning. It was bad. There's a slug in the tent that we've been sleeping with. How did that even happen? They're not even that fast. Uh, okay, slug. Join your slug buddies. Uh. So there were signs around camp of a bear in the area. So we of course hung our food and everything. Not like totally bear resistant, but at least away from our tent. And that included my backpack because my backpack has smelly things like our toothpaste and my deodorant and um, occasionally I put snacks in there. So it definitely has a smell to it that a bear would recognize. And so I cover it with a garbage bag. I hang it up in the tree. So let's check out the view this morning. It looks completely gray from clouds, but through the clouds you can see these huge mountains right across the bay. I don't know, it's the rain. <laughs> so yeah, in the morning we, we spent some good time uh, trying to dry it off because, you know, in Tanzania we packed up a wet tent and it got moldy as poop and we don't like yeah. camping in moldy poopy tents and so we <laughs> made sure we rectified that. Rectified. Well, we're sticking on the topics of moldy poop. So I have taken a shower. It was really, really nice. And we are using the facilities of this wonderful campground to help pack up from the grossness and the rain. Here's our tent, sleeping bag inside. So slowly we'll get on the road, but sometimes you just <clears throat> need to do this when the weather has been really crappy. But look, over here at the bay, it seems to be clearing up. You can see the other side with the mountains. I can almost see a shadow. Shadow. We did pack up, it was like I was saying before, it's kind of a one-way ticket in and you have to take the same way out. But it's so pretty to get different pers perspectives of, you know, doing yeah. a 90 degree left turn versus a 90 degree right turn. a little bit mistier of a day so the sweeping cloud is going across the glacier. Check out my breath. <sighs> <laughs> and it's you know it's like you're experiencing it for the first time. It's just as mm. exhilarating as the first time you went down. It's really looking nice. Here it is. You see it just coming over the edge. You know, it's kind of like, you know, when you go on like 
Batman, the roller coaster. I don't know how many of us have. We were just at the state fair, so roller coasters in my mind. And or just this, any roller coaster. <laughs> this demon coaster called the zipper that you go oh, around, around and around and around. <laughs> you know, and so it's fun. It's just like the road going south of LDs and mm-hmm. then you go backwards. It's like the ah. zipper, it goes backwards. <laughs> one is a lot more vomit inducing, and the other one is much more prettier. Yes. And, uh, you know, but the, the ride back north. Was, I don't know. I mean, there were times. Was that the vomit inducing one? No, kind of. <laughs> you know what? I don't feel good today. I don't know why. They ate I think it was the vomit inducing. It was. I mean, now on reflection. I think it was the chips and salsa. I think it was the, the seasoned dots that I ate way too thousand. Oh, many, yeah. So. Too many yeah. seasoned pretzels. Yeah. There's a serving size, and I always <laughs> multiply it by like 20. And yep. that's, that's where I'm at right now. <laughs> We had something special planned this day because we were going to take a kind of side road. Now in Alaska, side roads are rare because there's really just roads and there's like only a few yeah. of them. Um, but this is a side road that goes out to a tiny town that is within a national park yeah. called McCarthy. Uh, this glacier hanging out over here, Ooh. slowly trying to crush us, but we got a little more time. <laughs> Beautiful ride. Then we hung a right to, to go down a, a long stretch of road with no gas stations to McCarthy. Yes. So we did get gas at the last gas station. It was beautiful weather, like very yeah, unexpected. Right? We've been so lucky. I'm a little concerned that this is the only gas station between here and McCarthy and even back again. I don't know if there's gas in McCarthy, so I'm gonna go in and ask um, if there is no gas. That would be, I think it's 187 miles there. So, yeah, 360 something miles total would be way, or 370. It's way too much. Um, something that we can't do on the bike, even with our extra gallon and carrying extra gas. So hopefully there's gas out there. Let's go find out. Um, and we had a wonderful little snack there. That's where Tim ate way too many pretzel sticks. Look at this weather. Whoa. Did we look out or what? I got a nectarine. Fruit like this is sometimes hard to come by out here, so I'm really looking forward to it. T-shirt day. T-shirt day, yeah. <laughs> Who knew? Okay, so update. Update. The woman, <laughs> the woman inside the gas station said that McCarthy does not have gas, but that Tina does. And, or no, she said Chitina used to, but that they don't anymore for some reason. And they're in like the next town. So in other words, there is no gas to be had between here and McCarthy. But good news is it's a lot closer than I thought. It's only like 90 miles away, she said. I'm gonna double check that on my phone. But if that's the case, then it's only like 180 round trip and we can do that. But until we come back, no more gas. ride to McCarthy, it stops being paved at yeah. Chichina? Chichina? Chinita? Chichina. Chichina. <laughs> One of those. <laughs> I'm going to call it Chichia. From there on out, it's a gravel road. It's a really, really nice gravel yeah, yeah, yeah. road.
have registered for camping and there might be a place we can camp with the view of the glacier. So that would be really, really cool. chosen this spot with a view of the glacier behind us. It is a one-way ticket road, so, yeah. or I don't know, should we call it round trip? Because it's you have around, to, yeah. you have to come into McCarthy. One way is like now we live here. Well, <laughs> that's not. Let's hope that, that doesn't we happen. We got a round trip. It's beautiful, but it yeah, is. round trip. So we'll be coming back out tomorrow. Yeah. Um, we are in McCarthy now. We are, and as we were rolling up, there's like this rainbow, but all it is is like red and green because it's like so dark within the cloud. <laughs> right. This is like, what was that bad TV show? Awesome TV show. Oh, Come on, You stop, want me go. to know what? Stop, go. And then awesome they shoot TV you. show? Oh, Squid Game. Squid Games. <laughs> Rissa says, that's so common. <laughs> but we went, we went, we went go. And we got through and now look, there's, there's sun, there's clouds, there's this glacier behind it's us. It's amazing. The sun is setting it's now. It's amazing. And it's really, really beautiful. I do feel like it's dinner time. It is dinner time for the black flies. <laughs> So, it's been time for the black this flies. is true. So yeah, I, we are going to end it here. Tomorrow, we're gonna be venturing back out along that dirt road and yeah. hoping for good weather once again. Yeah. And then heading up to Toke, Alaska. Toke, and then yes. take a right. And then we'll be in Canada. We do yes. wanna throw a huge thank you to all of our Patreons, everybody who likes, comments, and supports us on Facebook and Instagram. Absolutely. Everybody who's written and hopefully uh, giggled at some of my books that we've we've wrote yeah you know all the positive support absolutely means the world to us so, so thank you for thank all the you comments very, very that really means a lot to us every time we read them we just giggle we giggle we, yeah we we're do. giggler's so we hope you like this episode and if you did please go ahead and hit that uh subscribe button and a thumbs up and a thumbs up <laughs> and a double ding, so, ding, ding. There you go. i gotta do the peace stay safe everybody peace <laughs> what I'm like. Stay safe, everybody. Bye. Peace. Peace. <laughs> I do that every time, but Moose always cuts it. That's what. No. <laughs> <laughs>